I drew a floor plan for Bill of the Lone Moose on YouTube. I transformed his vision into a workable floor plan based on his drawings and ideas. A disclaimer, I'm not an architect, not a dress person, and not a professional. The floor plan shown in this video is for Bill of the Lone Moose and is for illustrative and informational purposes only. Bill recently purchased 2.75 acres of land in the beautiful Alaskan Kenai Peninsula. Here are some of the beautiful views from the property. Here is the location of where the house is going to be built. I'm going to get me a sign made. This is Tin Can Alley. My driveway comes in over there, comes right here where I'm at, goes down here to the Tin Can. Here is the floor plan drawing that Bill sent me along with the sizes of furniture, already purchased cabinets and other items that will go in the house. I transformed his vision into a workable floor plan based on his drawings and ideas. This is what the outside of the house will look like. This is the Arctic entry, which is similar to a mudroom, where items can be stored. As you enter the main part of the house, it opens up into a small entry, living room, dining, and kitchen. The kitchen is a galley kitchen. It has the sink and bar area overlooking some of the best views. This is the second bedroom, which will also serve as an office. Here is the wood-burning stove that Bill purchased. This cabinet represents Bill's gun safe that will be located in front of a 36-inch sliding door, which is three foot above this floor. In case Bill or someone else ever becomes wheelchair-bound, the gun safe will be moved to the second bedroom and this area will be able to house a wheelchair lift to access the master bedroom. The stairs to the left will remain for anybody else and the dogs to use. The reason the master bedroom is raised three foot above this floor is because underneath the master bedroom will be a six foot in height cold storage room to house a propane furnace, solar battery system, on-demand hot water heater, water storage tank, and delivery system. On the right is a large walk-in food pantry with additional room for two freezers. On the left is a coat closet. Here is the combined hall bathroom and laundry room. Going up the stairs is the master bedroom. Bill wanted a custom 10 foot wide bed, which is called a family bed in the master bedroom, so he has room for his beloved dogs. A large walk-in closet. The master bathroom with a large garden tub. Here are more detailed pictures of the house.
Thanks for watching. I will be posting more floor plan videos in the future, so if you're interested, please subscribe.